Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Titus here. I've been thinking about this video for probably a year and I'm just now getting to it. It's really not that big a, a deal. It's a pretty simple vi video to be honest with you. But I wanted to go over something, a setup that we do, a mobile hunting, duck hunting setup for you guys today. So I'm gonna do the bigger mobile setup so it's still mobile. And I'm gonna go over my gear and all the links will be down in the description below. And then I'm gonna go over like a minimalist like even smaller than this because this is already cutting it way down compared to what most people do but we do it all the time and we're very successful in the field duck hunting so let's start opening it up and we'll go over everything and if i don't know the proper name of the product trust me it'll be down in the description below you guys can check it out so let's get started first off we have the rig and right waterfowl backpack i believe it's called the refuge runner i bought it last year um, I'm not going to go in all detail of it. I'm just going to show you what I've used before. So it's got the backpack straps. It's got the waist belt. And you can cinch it up, get everything you want. So there's multiple things that this is used for. So for instance, like this right here is really, they made it. If you look on the picture, it's meant to be used for like a, a spinner wing. So you put the spinner wing in there. And then you can put the, the poles right here. But you can use it for wherever you want. So I actually end up just putting my marsh seat. So I'm just showing you guys my loadout for a, a mobile duck hunting gear. When I say mobile duck hunting, I'm talking about if you set up in a spot and you're like, okay, this is where we're gonna hunt, you put your decoys out, and then all of a sudden you realize the birds went over there like 200 yards, then I like the setup because I can throw everything back in, make a quick move, and I don't have to take 30 minutes to pick everything up and then reset up. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so what I got in here first off is my marsh seat. This is, it's got this on here so it doesn't sink down in the mud too deep but it's just an avery marsh seat you can pop it down like that and that's how it works this is i've used these for years and years and years and i think this is like my third one after all these years of duck hunting so that's in there and then we'll get on the inside so this opens up really wide i only put like you can take come take a look down inside there you can see that i haven't even taken up a, basically about a quarter of the space in there and that's six decoys I believe but the next thing that I do for my mobile setup is I really 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 like the Dakota decoy packable mallards I mean I can't remember the weight on these but it's so stinking light I mean it's like it weighs nothing and you can even if you want you can pull the the bottom on here and squeeze it let air out and really compact it down so in my opinion these are the best decoys for sure not only for looks I mean I just like the looks of them anyways but the fact that you can compress all the air out and pack them down for, you know, to be mobile and they're flocked heads. This will be, I think this is the second season on these, maybe third. I can't remember. Tom's gone first. But anyways, so I got those in there. And like I said, you've seen there's so much room to put. If you want more, it's not like, oh man, if I'm backpacking, I can't have that many decoys. No, you can, you can have a bunch. So anyways, one of the other things I really like, we like having here to bring motion is the Higdon Pulsator. And now be careful on your regulations because, you know, battery operated things, some states might not allow it, so be careful on that. But what it does, it just creates a nice ripple. The water goes in spurts, moves it, causes ripples. Birds like it, and it really looks going to spread. It makes it look realistic. So that's in there. And I'm going to pull the rest of these decoys out. But this is, I mean, this is exactly what I carry. So there's three, four Drake Mallards, and then two hen mallards and that whole seder. That's This is exactly what I take. Besides, I don't have the shotgun out here with me, so it doesn't really matter. You guys know it's obvious. But another thing that I throw in here is the Motion Ducks Trick Rig System. So not maybe always every time do I use it, but at least it gives me the option to create that motion on the water. And I can use four of those decoys, set them up on here, and then I get my jerk string and it gives my gives me my motion so it just depends there's days that I want to use this and then there's days it's like I feel like the pulsator is just enough because sometimes I'll set up with just like two decoys and the pulsator I mean it really depends on how big your po your pothole is you know so anyways that's always in there with the jerk string like I said the shells shotgun and shells the only thing I don't have in here that's just a given and then here's my blind bag that I've used and I don't use this on every hunt but this is the rig and right um, bag I bought this last year used it I can't say I use it all the time but I used it quite a bit but it's 
it gets just enough stuff that you need in there. I'm not gonna go over, it's not a review of this bag, but this is what I use. That's everything, besides the shotgun and the shoulder strap, which I'll show you in the next bag. That's kind of my bigger minimalist mobile duck hunting setup, okay? That's it, right there. Of course I got my calls on me, and that's about it, okay? Now, let's go over the super minimalist setup. So, and I love this. Tom, Thomas gets full props for this right here. So you can get these on Amazon. It's a uh, earth pack. This is a 30 liter. If, if I had it to do over again, I would probably get the 40 liter, but they're cheap. They're super cheap on Amazon. I can't even remember. It doesn't matter. You guys can look it up in the links, but this is a dry bag. So uh, we hunt a lot in marshes and we use, like I said, these seats to where, you know, you, it's not like you're hunting out of a boat. It's not like you're out in a blind off the water. You're in the water. So to try to create a platform or lay your stuff on the toolies, it just means you're knocking your cover over and I don't like doing that. So this, you can literally put your stuff in here. So what I would do is I would throw this. I'm talking, this is very minimalist. You can, some of you guys may say there's no way you can kill ducks like that, but we do it all the time. I'll do this and I'll crunch down two of these. I guess I could show you real quick. We're almost done with this video, but. So you do that. I mean, you can literally fold these in half. These are the Do Dakota Decoy Packable. See that? I can stick easily two in here with all my stuff. I do not take a blind bag with me when I go in. The this is my blind bag and my decoy bag. It's my everything, okay? And I even put a camera in there. But I can stick two more of those in, plus the pulsator. Let this thing go back out. And I got my decoys. And I, I go find a little hole where mallards are at, and I'm telling you right now, it works. We've done it time and time and time again. I can't tell you how many times this setup has worked, but I'll show you what else is in here that I didn't put in that one. So this is the sling. Obviously, when you're walking out there, um, you want the gun sling. I do anyways because you know, it's just, everything's on your back. You don't have to carry nothing in your hands. It's just nice. So I use that tangle free uh, shoulder strap. And then this is to me is big because you got to have this and that's a duck strap because if you got your pulsator in there, you got a couple decoys in there, you got your shells in there, you got your duck call, whatever you're putting in there, um, you got to have a strap. Cause let's say you shoot, even if you shoot two or three mallards only, you can't stuff them in here with all the other stuff. Then it won't even fold up or clamp, okay? So I take this with me. If I shoot two, three, four, five birds, then I got this thrown over my shoulder on one side, and then I put this on my back. And that's what I love about this, this dry bag is it's got shoulder straps. And I mean, that's, that's money. Like, you know none of your stuff's gonna get wet. And just like any other dry bag, you just fold up a little bit depending on how much your stuff you have in there. And then you buckle it and that's the setup that's the minimalist setup um, I also got my shells in here I have the heavy metal three inch four shot that's what I carry on me but that's it so I'm gonna throw in what I use my shells my duck strap this would already be on my gun I'm just gonna throw the pulsator or you can substitute it for the motion ducks I'll just put one decoy in there and I'll be honest with you, what I do is, because I don't like carrying things if I don't have to, as I put the seat, the seat actually goes in there. I adjust this though, because with these seats, you can adjust the height, just to make it fit in a little bit better. It comes out, it's all probably rusting. It is, because I haven't touched it since season. There it goes. Slide that down. Be careful not to tear your decoy up or the bag. And going out there, just walking out to the duck hunting spot, that's how I'll go with it out there, just like that. So that's my setup. And I get out there, pop it open, I sit on my seat, put, throw my decoys out, I roll this thing up like tight to where it's like, it's good. these are gonna float, right? And literally, I've had my camera in there, my phone, I throw it over in the water and it floats 
and not a single thing gets wet. So you have nothing to worry about. That is our mobile duck hunting setup. Very simple, short, easy video. Just throwing this out there to you guys. If you're wondering, you need some tips and advice on that kind of stuff. These are both proven. I've done it both ways. This is if you want to carry a little indoor, more decoys. You probably fit, honestly, about 30 decoys in there, especially depending on what kind you get. And if you want to make it lighter on yourself, I get the Dakota decoy packables, honestly. They're super light, and you can really get your spinner. This actually has a shotgun holder. So whatever way you want to go, if you want to go super light, you can use the dry bag, or you can go a little bit more to be mobile and use the Refuge Run Rig and Right. And there's some other brands out there. Avery makes a brand that Thomas uses too. So anyways, that's everything for our mobile duck hunting gear setup. I hope this helps some of you guys. What do you guys do? What do you, in the comments down below, let me know what you guys do and kind of what your setups are. Maybe there's some things that, little tricks of the trade that you guys have learned. If you guys have any questions on gear, uh, some other suggestions, just ask me down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys on the next one.